You know, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. I think it's time to blow this thing, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Some of you may be shocked to find out that I'm doing this uh, scientific experiment, but uh, if you've watched uh, from this YouTube channel for, uh, I don't know, any number of videos, you'll know that this is not just a normal YouTube channel, it is an educational channel. Whoa, what? That's right, educational. This channel is the perfect case study on um, what a severely depressed person and the mentally ill find funny. So today we are going to apply the scientific method to figure out if Pokemon cards are bulletproof. Just in case, you know. Okay, now picture this. You're at home at night, you're watching your favorite Fortnite funnies, and then all of a sudden you hear this crash in your living room. You go in to check, and uh-oh, an intruder with a gun. What do you do? If you're a loser like me, you have tons of common Pokemon cards just lying about and duct tape. So what do you do? You duct tape a bunch of Pokemon cards around and make yourself some homemade body armor. So today, I'm gonna test to see what kind of common calibers Pokemon cards may or may not be able to stop. This is gonna be, uh, don't, don't, don't actually try this, don't, don't. This is, uh, this is strictly for scientific fun. Don't, don't tr actually defend yourself <laughs> with Pokemon cards. Unless you put them in a sock, you know, like a big brick of them and just, if you don't have a, like a kitchen knife, I don't know. Stay safe. Eh? Okay, here we are at our broken ass table, and our test medians here will be bricks and bricks of uh, just common Pokemon cards for varying calibers. And of course, our main man back here, Turbo Spreader, will be behind it to catch any bullets that may or may not ricochet back at us. He is a true hero. <laughs> Okay, I have my ear protection on, safety first, eye protection. I was kind of born with bad eyes, so that works out. All right, uh, the first weapon we are going to try this on is a very common round, a 22. Not a long rifle just yet. I'll work my way up to that, but I, for some reason, have these... Uh, hold on, uh, I'll zoom in. Let me see if I can't get that. Come on. Come on, you little bastard. You know what? Fuck it. It's a 22 short. Yeah, I don't know why I have them either, but uh, for some reason, I got them. Just for a size comparison, this is the 22 short, and this is the 22 long rifle. Uh, both considered a baby caliber, but both deadly. So, somebody breaks into your house with one of these, let's try it out. All right, just a reminder, we are on a closed range. This is dangerous. Do not try this unless you are a trained professional. And even then, probably don't do this. Okay, we're starting out with the 22 short on the baby stack. All right, I'm gonna get down here on this one's level. And... Okay. Oh. Turbo Spreader did nothing to prevent this. Okay, okay, while I have it up here, I've already set it up for the 22 long rifle. And uh, I don't want to have to cut this apart twice. So, all right, here we go, 22 long rifle. This one is a bit more dangerous, per se. So, okay, here we go. Yeah, that's a little louder, why not? Okay, so uh, as you can tell here, 22 short, 22 long rifle. I'll uh, cut this open here real quick. There's some Pokemon fans really upset at me right now, and quite frankly, did you want them? Did you even really want them? Let's be honest here. 
Okay, we had right at around uh, two inches of uh, Pokemon cards to protect against the 22 long raffle. And from what I can tell, the 22 short, oh God, hold on. 22 long raffle was up top, 22 short at the bottom. 22 short only made it in about one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, maybe like 15 Pokemon cards in, but the 22 long rifle, being the bigger round, made it about, let's see, we're doing science, okay, uh, right at about an inch of Pokemon cards, so if you are being assaulted by someone with, I don't know, a 22, uh, Honestly, two inches of Pokemon cards and some duct tape probably would have stopped that. All right, let's move on to the next test. Okay, 22, stopping pretty good. But what about the 9mm out of my Beretta 92FS? And uh, if you're a fan of the grips here, uh, there's a guy named Ivan, or uh, yeah, or no, no, his name was uh, Vladimir. Vladimir, yeah, sorry. Is that is that offensive? It probably is. But he was a very cool dude. He's on Etsy. Uh, if I find his link, I will put it right here. And uh, as you can see, we're empty. Nothing. It's unsafe. All right. And we're going to be using these poopy bullets. You know how uh, when the pandemic hit, everybody was coming out with off-brand hand sanitizer? Well, every bullet manufacturing company was coming out with off-brand bullets. So uh, I have a... Uh, hold on. See here, if we can uh, focus on this piece of garbage, yeah. Uh, whatever the it's like a it's a hollow point, it's a black line, I believe it is. And it's uh, sorry, this thing detects faces, uh, yeah. No, it's it's literally like it doesn't want to feed properly, it just it acts as a fucking full metal jacket. So, for penetration tests, this thing will do just fine. And plus, I kind of just want to get rid of them. I mean, it's a bullet's a bullet is a bullet, but these just, I don't know, something stinky about them, you know? Okay, next uh, we're going to be doing the medium stack for the 9mm. Alright, let's go ahead and load the gun. Reminder again, closed range. Alright, now I'm going to step a little bit back for this one just in case. I'm also going to fire it at a bit of an angle. That way everything, uh, you know is uh safe as could be i don't know if you can hear me squishing around in the mud right now in house shoes because i'm a fucking idiot but all right i'm gonna single action this one that way uh there is no chance that i miss all right and okay that um wasn't expecting that one okay well uh, uh, uh oh all right, we're clear. All right. Okay, we're back at the table, and uh, there's some mangled cards there. And I uh, should probably get that out of the way, but who cares? Okay, we started out with about five, five, five inches of Pokemon cards, right at about five inches. Okay. And uh, you see what had happened here was the scientific term for this is it fucking blew up. Um, so, oh, oh shit, oh jeez. Okay, um, so nine millimeter, it stopped right here. I have determined that. I could not recover the bullet. I was right to shoot it at an angle because it ricocheted off to the left and into the dirt where it should have, you know, went. You know, controlled scientific experiments. Safety first. Okay. <sighs> Still don't try this at home. Okay, and what we got here is entrance hole. It's fucking pretty good entrance hole. It angled downward. Oh, fuck. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. So oh, shit. Okay. Um, at least I don't think the bullet's in here, is it? No, no, it had to pass through because it made it about an inch into it, and then I guess the hollow point actually decided it wanted to work this time, and it started to expand. Uh, go ahead, you can have that code card if you want, who cares. Um, and it just exploded the other ones in half, 
and uh, veered off to the left. So it made it right around, I would say, let's just be conservatively safe here, and it made it about three and a half inches into the cards. Okay, that is a pretty good, and it left some dents, but you know, you, you would have been safe probably. Still, I don't recommend using these as actual armor. This is just for scientific fun. Next test. It is getting colder by the second, but we suffer for scientific discoveries. All right, next up, uh, after the nine millimeter, I'm a bit afraid to do this one, but um, you know, everybody usually moves up to 45 and there are gun videos and you know, whatever, who cares? But I don't have a 45, I got a 40 Smith & Wesson. And gun people hate this round because they're insecure about the size of their wieners. I don't really understand it, but fantastic round, fantastic performance, great track record. I'm gonna be firing it out of my uh, Sig Sauer P320 here. Ironically, the first actual like pistol I ever bought, all right? And I don't have very many Pokemon stacks left because I did not anticipate the nine millimeter to explode that one in half. And I was gonna use that for this one as well. So we're gonna have to use a medium pile and hopefully have enough left over for the remaining two, three rounds. All right, let's, let's figure this out. Okay, we're back over at the test median again, and uh, Turbo Spreader is, uh, you know, unscathed. So the Pokemon cards are working. That is what we need to take away from this. You can't keep getting away with it! Still don't do it, but hey. Still don't do it though. All right, one round, 40 Smith & Wesson. This is a Winchester white box. Uh, it's basically the basicest basic bitch cartridge you can get for this. So I'm gonna step a little further back this time around, make sure we're in focus. And Turbo Fister, best of luck to you, buddy. This one's a, uh, this is a bit of a spicy round you got here. Okay, and Uh, oh, oh no! Turbo Fister, no! Okay, so here's what happened. Um, we started out with around seven inches of Pokemon cards, and uh, what happened was, uh, here's the entrance wound. As you can see, they um, uh, uh, they curve upward, as if the paper pushed it upward, and out to the side it made it through this stack this stack and this stack so there's no real way to determine how many it went through but i am estimating that at around six or i would say closer to six and a half inches of cards there are about four and a quarter inches of cards left so it made it through quite a few, more than the nine, I do believe, and uh, the devastation that it wrought. I mean, it literally, look, it blew cards in half with the force that came off of it. It's not like, oh, it just passed right through. No, I mean, Jesus Christ, that's uh, rather impressive. So might need a bigger stack to defend against somebody with a 40 Smith & Wesson coming into your house at night. Oh, by the way, uh, Turbo Fisto, He's, uh, he's got one more good shot in him, and, uh, you know, and that's just because I don't want him to live like Lieutenant Dan here, uh, no legs. Okay, next round. A bit unconventional, but with the commercialization of it in the last couple of years, due to the uh, release of the Ruger 57, or Ruger 57, however you want to pronounce it, I'm bringing to you the 5-7 round blue tip by FN out of my Ruger 57, which I have had uh, custom Cerakoted. Uh, I promise I didn't intend to make it look like a Joker gun, but here I am. It looks, hey, I love it. Looks great. Pew. All right, now uh, we're gonna have to use what was left of the other medians, cause, or mediums, whatever. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I am a scientist. I am a scientist. 
scientist. We're going to have to use uh, leftover cards because I've uh, ran out of a lot of the smaller stacks and I'm saving the bigger stacks for the bigger weapons. So hopefully this one makes it through a little uh, extra here. Alrighty everybody, next up the FN57. Well, not FN57, it's a, it's a bullet made by FN. You know what I meant, it's a Ruger 57. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand way back for this one and uh, don't listen to that guy from Tiger King. These do fire without the magazine. That guy was an idiot. God rest his soul. All right, are you ready, Turbo Fister, Turbo Spreader, Turbo Virgin, whatever your name is, whatever I called you? I'm gonna try to aim away from the 40 Smith and Wesson hole that I made. That way it's a, uh, you know, a little bit more integral, I guess. Okay, all right. Or the integrity is more integral. Wow, well, you know what I meant to say. Shut up. All right, here we go. This one's a bit more dangerous, so. I'm a f bit further back on this one. I'm not going to lie to you, friends. Uh, okay, I'm going to aim at the bottom. <sighs> Rest in peace, Turbo Fisto. You will be missed. This is definitely becoming my favorite part of the uh, segments. Sorry, let me uh, adjust my mic here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely becoming my favorite part, the examination. By the way, Turbo Fisto, he, uh, the force, I get, it didn't even go through, but the force of getting hit with the Pokemon cards just fucked him right up. He ain't got no arms now. Okay. Okay, here's the entrance. That was the 40 Smith & Wesson. This is the FN, little tiny baby hole, because FN is a bit of a tiny bullet, but it's moving a lot faster and has a lot more penetration power. Okay, that's just a random card I picked up. Here is the exit wound of the 40, and here's the big boy 5-7. Okay, and the best part about this, uh, here's some cards that didn't really even get hit, but uh, they're here just because, okay. Here's the best part about this. I caught the bullet. Are you are you hard yet? Cuz I know I am. Okay. All right. Okay. First, let me do my measurements before we reveal the bullet. Okay. So we had about six and a half inches of cards left because I reused them cuz I'm a dumbass and uh, they exploded everywhere as with everything besides the 22. Okay. But are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, all right, here we go. This one's gonna, this is probably not gonna work. Oh jeez, this is, oh this is, this is terrible. I am, not, I am a scientist. I am a scientist. My name's Scientist Chef. My name's Science Chef. My name is Chef. Science, Science Boy, Science, Jimmy Neutron, there we are. Uh, we got about four inches, huh. I guess a lot more cards are left over there than I thought. So we started out with around six inches, six and a half, give or take a few cards, and we made it about, I would say four and a half inches, four and a quarter inches into it before the bullet veered off and shot out the uh, bottom of it. But it didn't actually shoot out the bottom, it was, but it got caught by the duct tape. And before you say anything, oh, the duct tape is ca catching a lot of it. The duct tape is very thin and you can shove a needle through it. So a bullet isn't gonna be, uh, you know, too uh, hindered by it. So, okay, here's the bullet hole, the 5.7 made, much further than the 40. And let me do some digging, a little bit of surgery here. And, and there you go. Oh, fuck, no! What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Uh, duh, duh, duh. uh oh. Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, here is what is left of the FN bullet. You can see on the inside it's a bit hollow. The blue tip is gone, and there is the back of the bullet. These are mean little rounds. Even the lead core is gone. Oh my goodness. Is there a light core in these? I don't know, fuck it. Uh, but these are mean little bullets. 
and you would need quite a few of these to stop someone with a 5.7 coming into your home. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next big boy rounds. And for the moment, we've all been waiting for the final round that you would probably, you know, encounter in the wild is the 223 or 556, you know, the AR-15 round. God forbid someone comes into your house with an AR-15, but hey, you got an entire fucking blanket of Pokemon cards. Maybe. If that's your last resort, maybe. I'm going to be firing it out of my Savage Arms bolt action hunting rifle. It's, you know, cheap but reliable, and that's what matters. I'm not actually going to use the scope on it, though. It's a Vortex scope in case anybody cares. <sighs> Alright, the big stack is waiting. I'm scared to death of this one because it has such a high velocity. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, mm, baby. Cut that part out. Yeah. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! With a gun! Okay, if this is my final will and testament. I guess so fucking be it. I should probably load this properly instead of a, being a jackass. Okay. Alright. We are loaded, locked, ready, and terrified shitless. Okay. Let's attempt not to die here. God, there's a real chance I'm going to miss because I'm not using this scope. Oh, God. Maybe I'm fucking... Oh, God. Maybe a, maybe I pull an epic uh, Pog Gamer moment here and I actually survive this. I hit him, I think. All right, look, let's review the, the footage. Just, just... I know people like to see that. Gamer Pog... Fortnite montage, that's what she said, then now she finally left me, yeah, 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 reddit, gold is currency, oh god, oh, fucking hell, okay, let's get some shit straight, these are uh, some of the cards that were in there, if you see a code card you like, grab it, I don't care, but anyways, I'm gonna pop these bad boys at the end here, and we're gonna measure, okay, um, we're gonna measure. We started out with around nine inches, nine and a quarter inches of uh, epic Pokemon card gamer moments here. And the bullet penetrated exactly five inches into the Pokemon cards. Only five inches. That was a very very fast moving bullet and it only penetrated five inches five and a five and a couple cards you know that's the direct measurements i don't know measurements who am i i'm not a scientist i am a scientist um okay we're gonna take this apart okay okay all right and would you look at that would you look at that that's right folks Again, let me zoom in on it here. We caught the bullet. Oh shit, oh god, this camera's, oh, this tripod's on its last legs. You get it, last legs? <laughs> okay, there's where it ended. And the bullet is still stuck inside here. If I could just pry it apart properly. It shredded this bullet. Pokemon cards are apparently made of Ethereum or some shit. They're solid. They're made out of dragon skin because Jesus Christ, these are fucking. These bullets are mangled every time. And this. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. This one is no exception. Okay, we're peeling them apart. And. Wait, did I drop it? Did I seriously just drop? Oh, I'm so f stupid. Okay, here it is. That was just. The okay, these were the dent that it made. And this is where the bullet actually ended up mangled and destroyed oh my god it's literally just turned into confetti oh my goodness look at that that is amazing 
This is a copper and lead bullet. It is so deformed. It's literally imbued with Pokemon cards. It hit it so hard. Okay, um, let me zoom out here and you can see just how crazy that was. Um, how about yay tall? That's quite big. So, someone comes into your house with a 5.56 five, or a 223, and you got a stack of Pokemon cards that big, and you got some Neo from the Matrix moves, hey, have at it, man. But uh, I would seriously just recommend a bulletproof shield or m maybe leaving that neighborhood. That would work, you know, you know, surviving. That would work. What's that? You're stupid and you thought that I was actually telling the truth when I said that was the last round? Oh wow, you stupid, poor, gullible little bitch. Allow me to introduce you to the finale. Okay, yeah, a 12 gauge shotgun with a one ounce Remington Sabo slug with the green tip. You see, if you see that green tip, that means death and by the time you've seen it, it's too late. And you also have really good eyesight because it's gonna be coming at you very, very fast. But uh, yeah, these are hunting rounds, uh, specifically designed to go a little bit further. That little little green plastic tip there is supposed to uh, aerodynamically guide the bullet towards uh, whatever you're hunting. But uh, I'm firing it out of a tactical shotgun because I'm an actual living human moron. What's that? Uh, What's that Bloodborne boss, the living failures? Yeah, that'd be me. We're gonna drop that right in there. Okay, this one's just for fun. This isn't, this isn't actually a penetration test. This one is just, uh, this one's for shits and giggles and to see how many cards explode. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Oh my God, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do this one. Okay, everybody, the, uh, the 12 gauge uh, shotgun. I love doing that, okay. Bad idea coming up, everybody, in about five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, um, uh, hold on. Let me just, uh, I know people like seeing this. Ah, yeah, there we go. And, uh, okay, let's see here. Scientific uh, determination determines, uh, oh, that was about that was about nine inches of penetration into your mother. That is that's what that was. Okay, wow, wow. Okay, there was uh in the words of the immortal Willem Dafoe, there was a firefight. And uh, now I have a massive mess to clean up. Uh, wait a minute. What the hell? There were magic cards in the pile? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now I gotta start the test all over again. I'm not gonna determine uh, what happened there, because it was fairly evident by the... by, uh everything that's going on here Ooh, pretty big holes well anyways shit well you guys thanks for tuning in to my uh little uh little experiment uh if you're not already subscribed please do so if you're not uh, liking those videos and commenting please do i love to hear from you and um if anyone wants to come and help me clean this up, I would really appreciate it because I am, uh, that's all mud back there and I'm going to have to get about ankle deep to clean that. So, you know, any help would be appreciated. Uh, please uh, follow us on social media, uh, follow, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Tumblr, I guess. Yeah, I'm on Tumblr, Reddit, whatever. And uh, I love you all very much. Bye.